Hi guys, Ghost of Epa here. I've gotten a lot of requests to make a Red Ice Burn deck, so I finally put together a fun list. Also, if you guys really like this type of content, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe, just so I get an idea of what kind of things that you're looking for in future videos. You'll notice a lot of similarities with other Red Eyes builds, but primarily this is going to use a Red Eyes engine, a Bestial engine, with a very light Kashtira package for consistency. So, for this deck, the cards include two Red Eyes Black Dragons, three Black Metal Dragon, two Max C, two Ash Blossom, a Kashtira Rise Heart, two Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragons, one Bestial Magnemut, one Bestial Sarenir, one Bestial Druus Worm, one Noctivision Dragon, two Red Eyes Souls, a Kashtira Fenrir, one Kashtira Unicorn, a Bestial Lubellion, one Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, three copies of Inferno Fire Blast, two copies of Allure of Darkness, one One for One, two Red Eyes Fusions, one Red Eyes Insight, one Branded Regains, one Kashtira Birth, one Serial Spell, two Called by the Grave, one Crossout Designator, one Red Eyes Spirit, one Infinite Impermanence, and one Branded Beast. And then for the extra deck, we have two Meteor Black Comet Dragons, one Hieratic King of Atum, we have one number 42 Galaxy Tomahawk, one Flare Metal Dragon, one Dark Armed the Dragon of Annihilation, one Zeus, one Link Spider, one M Duke, one Striker Dragon, one Nightmare Phoenix, one IP Mascarena, one Predaplant Verte Anaconda, one Saryuja Skulldred, and finally a Mech Knight Crusadia Avramax. The combos in this deck are actually pretty simple, and you have a really good chance of winning just by starting with one copy of Inferno Fire Blast paired with Black Metal Dragon. So if you have two copies of Inferno Fire Blast, you're going to get that first turn kill, but if you have one copy, then you will be able to kill them on what I say is turn 1.5, so in their draw step. The rest of the cards in the deck are mainly there to facilitate some interruption, some protection, or just general draw power to getting that Inferno Fire Blast or Black Metal Dragon to hand. So Atum lets me search out Black Metal. If I am in a situation where I summon two Bestials, easy. Allure of Darkness, draw spell, one for one is just a fourth copy of Black Metal Dragon. And if I get the Kashtira line going with two level sevens on field, then I can go into Tomahawk, create tokens, and easily go into Saryuja to get that draw 4 and an additional special summon just to gas that much further. There are some more techs in the deck, but let's take a look at it in action to better understand it. Alright, so in this hand, we didn't start with Black Metal Dragon, but we do have Inferno Fire Blast, so we're gonna have to dig for that Black Metal Dragon to get our OTK. So I'm going to go ahead and start by summoning Kestira Unicorn. Bring Birth to hand. Activate Birth. Do not activate the effect of Kestira Rise Heart because if you do, you'll lock yourself into Xyz. In the Kestira deck, it's not that big of a deal, but in this deck, it will destroy you completely. So we use our normal summon here. Activate the effect, sending Fenrir. Banish, okay. Now, Birth will allow us to summon one back, but we don't need to do it right now. So we're going to go ahead and start by going directly into Tomahawk here. We're going to use Tomahawk's effect. Detach two. Then we will summon four tokens. Okay, now... You can't go directly into Saryuja with the tokens, so I have to make them usable. So we're going to go into IP with two of them. And then we're going to go into Link Spider with another, because we want to have the full four materials. If you don't do four materials, you will not be able to draw. So now we will link directly into Saryuja. Activate Saryusha effect. Okay, we did pull our black metal, so we're gonna send Darkness Metal back and both souls, because we do not need them. Perfect. All right, in this situation now, we're gonna go ahead and gas just a bit. 
We're gonna bring our lovely um, Bistial Magnumut to hand. Then I'm going to activate Saryusha's effect to special summon that black metal that we pulled to hand. Don't forget, Saryusha does have a special summon ability like this. I'm going to link away black metal into Striker. Saryusha boost, but we don't really care about that. We're continuing with our summon chain. We're gonna pull Darkness Metal to hand. Activate uh, by banishing Striker to special summon Darkness Metal. Okay. Now, we still have plenty of things that we can get into here, um, but we're gonna go ahead and use Darkness Metal. We're gonna summon out our Black Metal so we get one more search in a bit. Then, I'm going to use Bestial Lubellion on Darkness Metal. We're going to use Bestial Lubellion to set Branded Regained. We're going to activate Magnumut's effect. We're going to banish IP Mascarena, summoning Magnumut. We're going to activate Magnumut's effect and Branded Regained. So Branded Regained is going to let us recycle that one of IP Mascarena we run so that we can set up just in case something dangerous occurs. Okay, all of our searching goes off correctly. We're going to link into Predaplant over here. Activate Black Metal. But remember, Keeping Predaplant on the field is still dangerous, and we don't really want to do that, so we're going to get Black Meteor to hand. We're going to activate Black Meteor. We're going to send Red Eyes Black Dragon to Grave, Special Summon Black Meteor. We're going to go ahead and make IP Mascarena using these two. Now, just in case we need it during the opponent's turn, we're going to bring Fenrir back to the field for some interruption. Then, at this point, we're in a really good spot. I have Spirit, I have Inferno Fire Blast, we're ready to go ahead and fuse. So I'm going to activate Verte's effect. When you fuse, we're gonna use, uh, go into Black Meteor Comet. We always send Soul and Serenir. The big reason here is this chain allows us to chain block the burn effect of Meteor Black Comet. So we'll activate that. Activate Sirenir. Okay, and at this point we'll send Drusworm to Grave. Keep in mind, if you say it already been through them all or draw your Bestials, you do not have to send one to Grave, but it will not let you chain block. So now, we're gonna go ahead and send a card to Grave, just to go ahead and set up the burn. Um, you need to do a little bit of math, so we have 3,500 here. We'll be able to summon back and do 3,500, so I have to do 1,000 burn right now. If you send soul, it's not enough, because it has to be half of their attack. So Black Meteor is going to be the send here, so we're going to send Black Meteor, burn. Then we're going to activate Inferno Fire Blast. It burns for original, so 3,500. We'll go ahead and set Red Eye Spirit, and... Just in case there's some shenanigans, we're good. Might as well. We'll equip Black Metal to our Meteor Black Comet. Alright. Our turn is over. Always toggle on. We'll pass. Activate Magnumut's effect. Magnumut will let us add that Druus Worm we just sent to Grave to hand for more interruption. Just so we can take it all the way. Draw step. Activate Red Eye Spirit. We'll go ahead and summon Soul back to the field in defense, just in case. Sometimes they could have Imperm, but if not, activate Soul, burn immediately on the draw step. Okay, this hand is a bit more tricky. Sometimes you're not going to be able to get that OTK unless... No, still not good enough. So in this situation, because we didn't get the OTK, we do have a chance draw on Regained, but we need to start with Fenrir just for that interruption. 
So we will activate Finrear. We'll bring to hand Rise Heart. Then we will go ahead, normal summon, black metal. We will link away black metal into striker. Activate black metal's effect. Searching out the usual darkness metal. All right, we want our draw, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate regained. We're going to Banish Striker Dragon, summoning Red Eyes Darkness Metal, Branded Regain will trigger, shuffling back our Striker Dragon. We don't need it, but we want that draw. Okay, we got a one for one. So here, we're going to activate Darkness Metal's effect, Special Summon Black Metal, and then, just to deck thin and get it going a bit, I'm going to go ahead and one for one on our Black Metal to summon another black metal. Here, we'll go ahead and link both of those into uh, Predaplant Verte Anaconda. Now, as you see, I can't go directly into Saryuja with those, and honestly, I don't know if I want to, because if I do, it's not th uh, four individual names. It has to be four unique names. The only reason I was able to do it earlier is because IP Mara uh, Mascarena counted as two if I wanted it to. But since, like we said, that's not really an option, and if we do the Cash Zero Rise Heart, it will lock us into Xyz. We're not gonna do that, so we're gonna go ahead and Verte Anaconda out. Grab that double surge. Okay, it is not once per turn. So we'll activate both of them. All right, in this situation, we definitely want our Black Meteor. That's one of them. And for the other, we have a few options. Now, I do want my Red Eye Spirit, so I can also deck thin if I want to. And in this situation, I think that's gonna be the best opportunity. So I'm gonna go ahead and Insight. I'm gonna activate Insight. We're gonna send, um, you can see, you can send any of these to Grave. So we're gonna go ahead and send our soul to grave, just in case. Pull spirit to hand. We're gonna activate uh, Black Meteor, sending one of those Red Eyes Black Dragons to grave. Special summon it. Then we, like I said, don't really have enough to full OTK and go crazy here. But if you notice, I do have some unique opportunities here. So I'm going to try um, well, I can go into uh, Flare Metal and I can try to set up for some disruption, but I really need to win here and we don't know what they have face down. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go the Tomahawk combo in what I would like to say a backwards way. Because usually we don't start with Anaconda up top. Alright, we're going to detach both materials. One, two... Three. Okay, so we have one, two, three unique names. We don't want to use our uh, Verte Anaconda, or we'll be screwed. So we'll Link Spider, one of them away. Okay, now we have four unique names. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then we have no choice, so four. Go ahead and put Saryusha in the far right. Activate Saryusha. Okay, now we have some options. Rise Heart does not help us at all, so we are going to send Rise Heart back to deck. Then we drew an Inferno Fire Blast, wonderful. Fusion we never want to see, send it back. And so we have one other option. We already have uh, Lubelian in hand, so we're going to search what we want, so send Magnum up back. Perfect. Okay, here. Um, we can still special summon on Saryusha, but we don't need it right now. So I'm going to activate Lubelian's effect. I'm gonna search to hand Magnumut. And then here, I already have Branded Regained out. I have used it, but we have enough gas to not worry about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that effect. Banish one of our black metals that we don't need. Summon, activate Magnumut's effect. So now we have Magnumut and Grave. I'm gonna go ahead and shift Magnumut out for Lubelian.
use Lubellian's effect, put Branded Beast out. We have some interruption now, just in case. And so here, IP Mascarena uses two non-link monsters. Well, what do you know? We have two non-links right there, ready and waiting to go. So we're gonna go ahead and do so. Just for follow-up, I always do this. And you're not so worried about burn damage through, because when you use Tomahawk, you can't do any battle damage. Don't forget that effect. But you can do effect damage, which is what we're always gonna do. So we still have the ability to special summon if we want, but we don't need that right now. Um, the key is we want this Verte Anaconda to go off. And I do have Cross Out Designator in hand, so if they try to imperm my Anaconda, I'll just cross it out. Red Eyes Fusion. Comet. We're gonna send Soul. Sarnir. Summon it in the middle. Activate Comet. Activate Sarnir. Just for our chain block. Send Druus Worm to the grave. Send Black. Uh, Red Spike Dragon to grave. Perfect. We're gonna Inferno Fire Blast. Watch those Imperm Zones. Okay. Now here, even though we can't do damage, we can still uh, beat over their cards, which is what we're gonna do. So here, I don't have an answer to Karma Cut, Karma Cut so I cannot um, stop this Banish. So what he's doing is he's gonna banish that target, um, but since I'm under Red Eyes Fusion, I will not be able to Special Summon again uh, due to Proto Plant Verte Anaconda's effect. You cannot Special Summon the rest of this turn, which means we're gonna end up with a dead card, so we're gonna have to get creative. Okay. Like I said, you can hit, no damage can go through. Main phase two, set, set, in phase. Okay, Magnumut's effect. We're going to go ahead and search to our hand, Truist Worm. All right, Plunder Patrol booty, he's changing mine to light, summoning out a plunder. All right, now we need to get gassing. So here, I'm going to activate Druus Worm's effect. I need to shuffle some of these back so I have a way to fuse the next turn. So I'm going to, in this case, shuffle back our soul. Okay, perfect. Shuffle, draw. Wait till the standby. Wait till main phase. All right, in main phase, he's summoned. I can activate Branded Regains, which we will do. I'm gonna summon Magnumut. I'm also gonna activate IP Mascarena. To get out Crusadia, uh, Mech Knight, Evermax. So we can't leave that Verte Anaconda out because it's a liability, right? Magnumut, Magnumut trigger. All right, I will also go ahead and activate Branded Beast. I'm going to tribute Druus Worm and pop the trap. This gives me um, double interruption because I can send to grave the card that they special summoned, which we will do. We're trying to give as much interruption as possible. Okay. Magnumut's effect. We're gonna go ahead and add Druus Swarm to hand. In phase. Turn change, okay. So now that the turn has changed, I will activate Druus Swarm. We're gonna shuffle back some of our other cards that we need to get into. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle back Anaconda. All right, summon Druus Worm, activate, regains. We're gonna shuffle back our lovely Anaconda 
and I'm gonna go ahead and go Red Eye Spirit and bring out our Darkness Metal. We drew our, we hard drew a copy of Inferno Fire Blast. So here, now we need to deal with the problem at hand. We still have our Bestial Lubellion. So just to go ahead and start removing some of their stuff, I'm going to go ahead and send Drew Swarm to Grave. Activate Drew Swarm's effect. Send back to Grave the one they revived. Okay. Now in this situation, need to get into Anaconda. Pretty easy to do so. So what we're gonna do is we are going to we don't need that fusion <clears throat> we have a fusion and grave so we have a problem because we have one fusion in hand and one in grave i won't be able to correctly get out anaconda and use this ability because fusion cards have to be in the deck so i'm going to have to deal with them without anaconda so i'm going to go ahead and activate beast we're going to send Lubellion to Grave, pop their last card, um, and then <clears throat> we'll use Saryusha, summon our lovely Rise Heart. We're just trying to get some damage on board. Red Eyes to get out anything, like uh, per se, Soul, or we could get out Red Eyes Black Dragon. Um, but let me show you one thing while we have it available, which is I can easily go into a Tom to search out a dragon from the deck. The way a Tom works is you detach a material, and then it allows you to special summon a card from your deck. This is really handy because it can get me to any dragons. It makes their attack and defense zero, but this allows me to push further than I normally would be able to. So we're gonna go ahead and just get out our lovely Nocto here. Uh, Rise Heart, I can banish, I can go into Xyz. Um, I can also link away into Verte or whatever to get a draw one. But in this situation, that's not really handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of reverse burn them the best I can. Rise Heart. We'll go ahead and banish our Unicorn, buff that to level 7, we're going to link into Flare Metal, activate Flare Metal's effect, detach Nocto, special summon Red Eyes Black Dragon. And I mean... What kind of Red Eyes player would I be if I didn't finish them with Red Eyes, of course? Basically, that duel just shows you that you're not locked out if they remove your boss monster and they prevent you from doing all your fun burn damage. You just have to get creative. You didn't even see me draw a serial spell, but it's there just for a consistency piece as a fourth copy of Inferno, even though it is situational. Our Abyssals, not only do they activate our branded uh, beast engine, so I can pop things in the field, I can redraw, recycle some things from my extra deck, but they also let me search and summon any dragon using a tongue. Uh, the Kashtira line, we only, we, it's very light, there's only three of them, and the Kashtira um, continuous spell, but those three allow me to get into some of the level 7 Xyz plays, so of course you've seen Tomahawk, everyone knows Flare Metal, but I can also go into Dark Armed if I need to blow up a lot of back row. And end all be all, we also have Zeus as an emergency that we can go into as needed. Link Spider, M Duke, these are all meant to create uh, effect monsters from tokens or if I had to somehow summon a normal red eyes because Verte Anaconda needs to affect monsters I needed a way to recycle red eyes black dragon to make sure that that doesn't happen on a worst case scenario you have to run two copies of black comet 
Sometimes you will go through both. I've even had to hard summon it using Red Eyes Fusion on a follow-up turn just because of how much disruption occurs at higher ranks. I'm not going to say you're going to win all the time because you won't, but you will have a fun time and it's really enjoyable. Noctovision, don't forget that it comes out uh, whenever you special summon a dragon, it just comes right out on the field. If you special summon alongside Abyssal, you can link it away for one of your links like Verte Anaconda, IP Mascarena. Then you also get to draw a card on top of it. Or, alternatively, you can special summon it out and uh, Xyz summon using two level 7s, including itself, to get into Tomahawk. For Interruption, we have Max C for that extra draw power, we have Ash Blossom, we have Infinite Impermanence, and we have two Called by the Grave. These um, are cards that you're going to see very often as you play, and Cross Out Designator, we can only run it at one, unfortunately, but it does help us stop say, an Imperm on our Verte Anaconda, or an Ash Blossom on our Black Metal Dragon, or a Call by the Grave, even even worse. So, Cross Out is really key at making fun decks that are very, very rogue tier like this work in the end. This was a really fun deck for me to build and test, and I had lots of fun duels with it. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do, and put your own twist on it. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time.